What's up, guys? Uh, we got to talk about this, okay? Um, I'm just going to get straight to the point with it, with how things are going for Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour of this year. They finally posted, like, an official, you know, announcement of how how this is going to work in terms of the schedule for uh, posting, you know, footage for stuff. And I just, I just can't believe this, man. <laughs> like... None of this adds up. None of this makes sense to me, okay? And I'm going to explain why. But basically, uh, they posted this image, uh, and they stated this on their official Twitter, okay? So there's no way of interpreting this differently. Okay, this is this is it. Clear cut. <laughs> like, I've been, you know, we've been following this for the past couple of days now, and it's just been a mess trying to figure out, you know, how they're going to be handling live streams slash posting, you know, videos and announcements and stuff. So this, they stated here, video archives announcement. We'll be posting videos of some of the stage programs through our official YouTube channel once the event is over. Okay. So how they're going to do this in terms of video, like, I, I don't, I, I guess only announcement based stuff for the stage programs and the stage programs are they're talking about the stuff that the only stuff that we care about really okay i know people are going to be watching fighters and stuff which the fighters tournament and i guess some of the other tournaments um i don't know about all of them but for fighters specifically that will be streamed okay because it's going to be on twitch and on uh bandai namco esports okay so that's that's you know that's going to be it and you know, Tyrant, which we went over in a previous video, he said that there will be live streams. However, it's all this is exactly what I feared. OK, it's exactly what I was talking about in the previous video is that they have live streams, but it's only for the tournaments. OK, when it comes to the actual like major stuff that most people are tuning into this event for, it's going to be archived video. So I'm sitting here wondering why like what's the point of even really doing this event like I, I obviously i know people are gonna attend it physically you know but what's the point of doing a video archive if you're going through the effort of sitting there recording it you're you know whoever is in charge of the youtube channels and stuff if you're gonna go through the effort of recording you know these the, each panel that they're doing okay and you're just gonna upload it later why not just stream it at the same like it's it's not hard to stream it if you're already recording it okay i'm pretty sure if they're already they already have a streaming setup for fighters they could easily do it for these i don't understand who is making this decision and why it's different from the previous years why are you changing what like why try to fuck with what wasn't broken okay is it because you feel like nobody's gonna watch it okay that that just goes to show how how you're you want to treat you know this event okay um obviously people are going to watch it because you know there's there's major stuff on here okay dokkan and legends you know that the, everybody's gonna be watching that okay a lot of people are gonna be watching that a lot of fans play these games okay uh when it comes to you know the card games and stuff i personally don't know how popular that stuff is so maybe that's not gonna get as much of a viewership but people will still tune into it because there is a fan base for it the dragon ball games producer panel and dragon ball daima panel everybody's gonna be there anybody that cares about dragon ball will be at this okay like you're you're finally announcing this okay because in previous in, in the previous year last year they didn't really say anything about these new games or what's going to be announced or there was no diamond there was none of that at that time okay so if you're like using that as a foundation for how many people are going to be showing up like like you have they they do not they're lacking this self-awareness when it comes to how how the fans are going to react and how many people actually care about this stuff like they don't under they literally don't understand this okay and it's not the social media manager it's not you know like it's whoever whoever is the higher up at this that is making all the decisions, they're out of tune. They're very out of tune. And it's disappointing, okay? And it, it's just going to hurt this event. And oof, I'm just going to say right now, like, you, I don't know how these events are going to be in the future. 
Like, or, uh, I'm seeing a lot of people just say that they just don't care about the event. Like, obviously, this isn't like the end of the world or anything. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying, like, oh, this is the worst thing ever. Obviously, they will still upload it. Okay, we're still going to be able to see it. But are we going to be able... Are they uploading it immediately? Like, immediately, right as they finish the panel? Which, even then, you know, that's... You know, you're, you're losing a bit of that hype factor. Okay? Because, you know... People are going to be, there will be people at this event that will stream it themselves or upload, re upload, you know, their own footage of it who are in attendance, right? So the first amount of, you know, the first footage that gets put out is most likely going to be low, poor quality cam footage. Nobody likes that, okay? Nobody likes that. There's a reason why you want a professional live stream of this kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So. I don't, I don't know what else to say about this, man. It's just, it's very disappointing. Um, again, it's not the end of the world or anything. I'm just telling you how I'm, how I'm feeling about it, right? It, it, it just, it's just a, it's just a bummer. You know, it's a bummer. It's a disappointment. Um, and it, it kind of sets the tone for future events like this. Okay. And that's, that's, you know, that's kind of scary to think about like, okay, we're just we're just getting like the you know the, the the leftovers basically of this event and you're not treating it like a serious you know big event that's they're they're not treating it that way whenever you have these previous years that were like that where they you know they live streamed everything and we got you know the full footage and everything live like why change that you know what i mean so i'm sorry guys i don't like being upset about this or i'm not upset i'm just disappointed that's all right uh, I don't like to talk about bad news, like real shitty news and stuff. I hate this. I hate, you know, having the, I want to, I want to, I want to hype you guys up and get you guys excited for it and still be hyped. I think you should still be hyped for, you know, Sparking Zero panel and stuff, uh, Dima panel, Kakarot DLC 6 got its confirmation. Like there's still hype stuff on here, but I, I don't, I don't, I still don't know how they're going to handle it. Okay. If we're getting the immediate video just uploaded, like as soon soon like they have to be they have to do it like the game awards okay which i mean even then like the game awards still had everything live but at least there was a there was like a, a 30 second to one minute window of when that ended you know the the trailer ended for sparking zero and then they re they uploaded the full hd footage themselves on the official channels and stuff okay but because, you know, these panels are long, okay, it definitely will take, I mean, however, you know, long, however good their upload speed is or whatever, it's going to take, there's going to be a small, you know, window or even a longer window. Like, who knows? They might even, you know, archive slash upload this stuff hours later, a day later. They haven't really specified that or not. So I, I'm not jumping the gun too much, but it's still very disappointing that there's no live streams. Okay, you have just the esports stuff. Okay, the the tournaments, and that's really it. So it's kind of as I feared it would be, you know. But it is what it is. Um, I mean, you're seeing from the reactions, I don't see anybody happy about this at all. Worst decision. Okay, I agree. Can we expect these videos immediately after the show, or will it be a slow drip feed? yikes if that's the case yikes okay sorry but we don't want to we don't want our fans to see the content we've been hyping up okay we're still gonna see it we will still see it but i mean you're losing one of the biggest points of this is the hype okay the hype makes a lot of sense you know or not makes a lot of sense but it's a major thing right <laughs> <laughs> hell no nah, ain't no way there is no way really like there it doesn't make any sense um th no they never changed their mind they just never posted there was just bad communication and they never posted an official statement and we had to hear it from somebody else who didn't really know the full details okay like i said this is why i said in the previous video we're not out of the woods yet okay so anybody that was like oh yeah you're overreacting everything's gonna be fine or whatever this is why you wait for the full official uh, information instead of, you know, just being in La La Land, interpreting this as if everything's going to be fine, like with how these events are going to be ran run, okay? Like you have to know, you have to know the official shit 
before just being like, oh, yeah, it's, it's fine, right? In my opinion, they're trying to be like the Marvel San Diego Comic Con reveals, which aren't live streamed anywhere, but uploaded online shortly after they reveal offline. Maybe that's why they're trying the archive. I'd have uh, like it to be an online stream, but yeah, yes. Yeah. Like most people just want to see it streamed. Okay, that's it, right? Like it, it's just, it's just much, much. It's, it's easier. It's better. It's like there's. It's the best decision. Just stream it. Okay, if you're going to go through the effort of recording, like, uh, I, I'm just I'm just a broken record at this point. But that's how the situation is with it. Like I said, still be excited for Sparking. There is new Sparking Zero information confirmed. Uh, I don't know exactly what they're going to be talking about with Diamond, but I'm assuming there's going to be some type of new info there. And, and Kakarot DLC 6 is confirmed, okay? Still nothing on Xenoverse 2 yet, but that's going to be my next thing that I want to go into for those of you that still play Xenoverse 2, care about Xenoverse 2 information. Um, let's go over the information for this week. It's nothing all that, you know, important, so that's why I'm just including it in this video. Um, they're doing the... It's called Theatrical Version Limited Ichi Budokai. It's a tournament, okay? So this tournament should be starting tomorrow, I believe. So it's a weekend thing. So no raid this week. Uh, I believe the raid ended to yesterday. Yeah. Um, so yeah, raid ended. Uh, the characters that you can use are movie characters, okay? Turtles, uh, Slug, Fourth Form Cooler, Final Form Cooler, Metal Cooler, Janemba, Broly, Beerus, Golden Frieza, Bojack, Android 13, Full Power Broly, Gamma 1, and Gamma 2. Participation rewards, 50 TP medals. First to fifth place uh, in this tournament will be Famous Assist and a complete set of Dragon Balls and 100 TP medals. Uh, sixth to 10th place will be 100 TP medals. 11th to 20th place will be 70 TP medals. And 21st to 50th will be 50 TP medals. You guys know how these tournaments work. I'm not going to really explain it. Like I said, you know, it's it's just something to do in the, in the game if you like it. Um, I think the movie theme is actually pretty, pretty cool. I like that. Um, like I said, it's just any movie character uh, you can use. And I mean, that's that's all you can use, right? So again, I hate having to do bad news videos. I hate these videos so much, man. I, I wanted to, like, I was literally hoping, I was praying. I was like, can, can I do the next video? Whenever they put out the official, you know, information, I hope it's just me saying, all right, guys, we're getting live streams. We're going to enjoy it. It's going to be hype. It's going to be fun. I mean, ah. Uh, I'm a little bit sad, man. Just a little bit, you know? It is what it is. You know, like I said, not the end of the world. We're still going to get information. New shit's coming. But, I mean, I just hope that it maybe they'll see the disappointment from fans. And they'll, you know, I think it's too it's too late now. They're not, I guess they're not going to stream it. But next year, I hope, if, if they're still doing this event, it'll be live streamed. Okay? Because, you know, I've seen... I've seen events and things, they, they make bad decisions and people voice their opinion about it, which you absolutely need to voice your opinion. Don't be disrespectful, but voice your opinion about this stuff and tell them you don't like how they're handling it and, you know, tell them do it live, right? So maybe next year, if they're still doing the event, they'll go back to the live format. Okay, that's that's how it should be. What Like, there shouldn't have been any changes for it. So I thank you guys for being here. Sorry for the video getting long. Sorry for the disappointment. Sorry for, you know, just shit news. Like, it's just, eh. But yeah, uh, have, have a great day. I uh, love y'all. Be safe. Um, I will be following this event, obviously. So I will be re-uploading and uploading anything that goes live as soon as it goes live. Um, you know, you, you can count on me. I will, you know, I'm going to be posting anything that you guys obviously care about you know in terms of the new announcements right so like subscribe ring my notification bell and uh peace out <laughs> this is broly and you are watching slow plays make sure to subscribe or else i'll destroy your entire planet <laughs>